What is up guys? Random footage from Ron here and today I figured I'd make a quick video uh, where it kind of be fun. Well, we're gonna nitpick the stinger. So I've seen a lot of videos, five things I like, which I've already done, and five things I dislike or things I dislike. So I figured, let me drive the car for a couple months. I've had it like I think between two and three months now and I wanna nitpick it and give you guys what I don't like about it, which I figure will be fun. But before that, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys the skyline and give a quick update on that. Okay, so as all of you guys already know, we redid pretty much everything. But being on E85 has shown some things after we tuned it, which I made about say 400 wheel horsepower, 360 foot pounds of torque. Actually, here, I'll put a video of the dyno real quick. Okay, and now we're back. So the car did pretty good, but I ran into two problems. This car never freaking stops. You know how I feel like about it. So uh, when we went to E85, this car wants to make power. It wants to make a shit ton of power. I don't know why, it's happy. It makes funny noises in the engine, but it still wants to make power. So on E85, this car wants to run more boost. The issue is, is the fuel pump in it can't keep up with that boost. But then we can't turn the boost down because the internal wastegate will not let enough air out. So I have two problems. I'm going to do, I have a show Saturday, which I'll probably film or indoor parking, daily driven ink. But I will probably, after that, take the car down, do a fuel pump replacement, maybe make a how-to, and do uh, wastegate. We'll like bore the hole out. So say if it's that big, we'll go that big or that big or that big. I don't know. So I haven't seen it yet, but that'll be one project. So without further ado, let's get over to that awesome Korean masterpiece. Uh, here, hold on one sec. Awesome, we teleported. So let's go ahead and hop in this thing. Sorry, look at that. See, that's how you know it's daily driven. We keep these cars fucking dirty around here because we drive the piss out of them. And sorry, I'm barefoot. I'm just chillaxing, it's my day off. All right, uh, so the car has been awesome. I have had really no complaints about it. That's why I had a really nitpick for this YouTube video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, get some AC going while we're sitting in here, and that way I can show you guys some of the stuff I've had complaints. So let's do number one. Number one's pretty simple. Number one is noises. This car is not like, I mean, I guess as well sealed as a Mercedes or BMW. Uh, you have things like when the sunroof is open, you can like hear something flapping. I have no idea. Really, you have the awesome sound system. There's freaking speakers everywhere. You turn the music on even at a low volume, you can't hear anything. That's why it's like, I'm, I'm nitpicking here. So one, noises. Turn the radio on, you have no more noises. So we got that. Uh, let's get to number two. That is technology, which if you remember to my like video, technology was something I like. So in this car, there's things like the lane assist, or it'll tell you, you know, we'll flip through the screens. It'll show you like, oh, your attention level's high. But I feel like when you drive some of the like maybe more country roads where the lines aren't as good, this thing like freaks out and it'll tell me like, I'll be driving with my wife 10 minutes and it'll go, you need to take a break. And it's like, okay. So I reset it, you know, and it sometimes will like clear itself up with the roads, but it is a little annoying. Uh, other things that I've found is uh, maybe when you're trying to like hoon in a private and Mexican location, the car sometimes wants to fight you. Uh, it's only like i would say more of like the more intense things like sliding and stuff i mean getting on it and doing like you know the burnouts that this car will allow you to do it's not horrible but it does fight you a little bit and i'll just say one tiny annoyance that a lot of people picked out that really hasn't bothered me at all is the auto start feature um i turn my we're in ford it's 100 and something degrees i constantly flip my ac seats on so it's ac seats on auto start off and it's really not annoying especially because I drive in the smart mode, you can see, that way it adapts. So it's like pretty much, you know, I get in, I start the car and I do these three things. It's not that annoying. You see people complain about it. It really isn't that annoying, I can promise you, especially if you're changing your drive modes and AC seats or heated seats if you're up north. All right, I'm gonna look at my list and we'll cut back for number three. Look at that, smooth transition. So we got number three, and that's a fun one. These are the brakes. So this car comes with Brembo, high performance, badass racing brakes whatever you can stop on a dime but something that it does do over time 
Uh, I mean, my car has, say, 13,000 miles. When I got it, it already had the issue. I'm past the brake warranty. I'm still going to try to fight them for it. But when you hit the brakes, you can feel like a little wobble. They say that the brakes uh, cause some sort of warping pretty much from the factory because maybe the pads and stuff are too good for the rotors. I'm not exactly sure. I've done a little reading. Again, it does not hinder your braking capabilities. It's just annoying. So... I'll probably end up replacing it with high performance brakes, like a better disc or whatever, and we'll make a video about it. Another thing, and so this would be number four, and again, nitpicking. I had to really think about this for like the last week while I was driving it. Fuel mileage. If you enjoy this car, you will not get good fuel mileage. I mean, that's pretty much, you know, obvious. So, I, you know, I don't expect a lot of people to like think they're going to get 40 miles for the gallon in here. Uh, we'll go ahead and flip over to my fuel mileage if it will focus on the fuel mileage um so sensory fueling i've averaged 20.8 that's 181 miles so far um this is the lifetime of the car that i've owned it so 1945 miles i've gotten an average of 21 and a half miles per gallon i do drive the piss out of this car i'll be honest um so that's really not bad especially because my drive is short so there is mixed highway driving in it but for the most part, that's really not bad. Don't, don't get in this car expecting 30 miles per gallon unless you really don't want to enjoy it. I like enjoying it. So I don't have any, you know, I, it's fine to me. Uh, another thing I want to mention that people relate to the fuel mileage is the gas tank in this car is a little small. I guess if you want to add that into number four, that can kind of be a little bit of a complaint. But I mean, everywhere we drive these days, unless you're driving like across Texas on I-10 through the desert, there's gas stations everywhere i don't really ever have an issue i mean i don't know i guess if you want to complain about having to fill your car up one time extra once a month you can complain i have no complaints about that so let's get out of the car and we'll do number five so and i don't know if any of y'all can guess it number five is a fun one my biggest complaint about this car number five the, the big top tier one that's why it's last on this list has something to do with this little badge right here it's that this car is a kia now yes i have a lot of people who are in car enthusiasts that's a lot of my friends they do get it but for all the people who aren't car enthusiasts or just you know friends that i know or people who just see this car one they never really know what it is and two the second they hear it's a kia you get oh that's a kia why'd you buy a kia for those people you need to go drive one of these cars. It's really like one of those things that if you can't appreciate it, you're probably not gonna appreciate it. It's like the people who love Miatas. I am also one of those people. Maybe I just love shitty cars. People who love Miatas know why they love Miatas. People who don't like Miatas are just haters. And that's kind of this, I feel like that's one of the categories this car falls under. Um, I mean, that's kind of it. I really can't think of anything else. Uh, how about this? Let me flip the camera around. If you have any complaints, why don't you comment them down below? I would like to see what you guys, you know, complain about the car. Maybe it's something I haven't noticed. My car is a 2022. So some of the earlier videos complain about like the tech and stuff, but it pretty much, it's funny. You watch any of their videos, especially like Doug, I think it was Doug DeMiro's video. When you watch his, his biggest complaints have all been fixed in this car. So, I mean, that's why it was hard. It's hard you gotta, we really had to like dive into it, fine tune, tune uh, fine tooth cone whatever you want to say. So uh, that's going to be the end of the video. I want to make it real quick. The weather is getting kind of shitty. It's Florida. Things change on a dime. Um, I'm sorry I haven't really been posting much. It's been kind of hard. Uh, I've been really busy with work, with life. We just got another puppy. I'll uh, throw a little picture up here. Um, we also, uh, my wife started a YouTube channel, uh, book related. I don't know if you guys like books. I don't know if you guys like reading. If you're into cars, you probably don't like reading unless it's like owner's manuals and shit like I do. But I have been enjoying her channel. I think she's like at 83, 84 subscribers now. I'll go ahead and list her account below. It's Kaylee's Book Club. She's posting some pretty good videos. If you're into books or reading at all, she's doing book reviews, book hauls, all the fun stuff. And I'm actually helping dedicate a lot of my time to her channel. Um, let's also do a challenge. Some of my Kia Stinger videos have been doing a little bit better. Let's say if this video gets 200 likes in a month from the upload date, I'll buy intakes for the Stinger and do a how-to to install. How about that? That sounds like fun. I really don't want to mod it, but if y'all want to see it mod or get modded, prove it to me. So I appreciate the view. Uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, put your complaints down below, and thanks for watching. Bye.